Let's look at six. There are lots of things you can choose to do first, okay? The thing with exponents is follow the rules. You can do it in pretty much any order you want, okay? We want to try to stay within the categories of organizing and then using the rules and then simplifying, okay? So what is the first thing you see that you want to do to this problem? Hmm? Uh, multiply what? The exponent by negative 3. All right. Okay, so we're going to multiply the 3 fourths times what exponents? Negative 2 and negative 1. Right, only the ones in the parentheses. So I'm just going to write down m to the negative 3 n squared times m to the what's negative 2 times 3 fourths. Grab your calculator and... Negative two times three fourths. Negative three. Negative three over two. And n negative one times three fourths. Come on. Negative three fourths. All right. So we cleared the parentheses. According to your flip, what happens to negative exponents? Yeah. How do they become positive? What do you use your flip say? You've got that page, get those notes out. According to your flip, how do we deal with negative exponents? I thought you just finished it. Do what? It's a dividing and subtracting thing, right? So I, the minute I start seeing negative exponents, when we get ready to organize this, we're going to draw a line to make a numerator space and a denominator space. So this first m to the negative 3, where is it going to go? In the denominator. And that makes it positive. The n squared, where's that going to go? It's going to stay right where it is in the numerator. m to the negative 3 halves. Where's that going to go? Bottom. Denominator down in the bottom. m to the 3 halves. And what about that n to the negative 3 fourths? Also in the denominator, in the negative three fourths. Oh, sorry. Moving it makes it positive. Okay. So we've got all of these down in the denominator because they were all negative in our problem. Now we can start using our rules. Add the m's, so they're going to stay right where they are, and we're going to put m to the 3 plus 3 halves. What about the n's? Which one has the greater power? Uh, the numerator. So what are we going to do? Transfer the denominator to the numerator. And do what with them? Add them. Add them? It's division. Subtract, Ed Servando. So n to the 2 minus 3 fourths. Okay. 
So what's 2 minus 3 fourths? One, one, three. Good. 1 and 1 fourth, but I don't want to use the mixed number, so... 5 fourths. And three plus three halves. Good. 